This is definitely a huge evolution in flashlight technology. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So you guys know I don't do flashlight reviews on this channel unless it's something extremely different. And this is that thing. This is not your average run of the mill spotlight. This is actually a laser. This is the Ace Beam W30 laser flashlight. This is considered a class three laser by the FDA. So same laws that apply to those laser pointers apply to this light right here. You can't shine it at airplanes. There's a warning on the side advising you not to point it in people's eyes because there is the risk of doing damage to people's eyes because of the radiation factor. So once again, all the flashlights I review on this channel, it seems should not be left around children. So we're gonna see the difference. We're gonna see why this is unique. This is only 500 watts, but what you need to understand about watts is that watts and beam intensity are two different things entirely. To give you some perspective, this is only 500 watts, but the beam intensity is three times that of the 100,000 lumen flashlight I reviewed a few weeks ago. Beam intensity is the ability to focus and project those lumens across a long distance into a very tight beam. So that last light we reviewed was a floodlight, shot those lumens everywhere in all directions. While this is only one two hundredth of the lumens this is much much brighter 1.5 million candle power also known as candela so right from the get-go ace beam sent me this but they're not paying me to do this review i may sell their flashlights at some point once again do i think this is something you need not necessarily but this definitely is the ultimate sniper rifle flashlight if there ever was one so i'm going to talk maybe a bit more about that later but this is the closest competition that it has in this form factor this is the through night catapult there's also lights like the olight javelot which are similar but this is probably one of the furthest throwing handheld lights that you can get it's around 3,000 lumens and i think the range is around a kilometer or something like that so that building over there is about 150 meters so obviously it's not a kilometer uh, i don't do the long range tests anymore because the truth is that the human eye can detect the flicker of a candlelight at 30 miles, I believe it is. So at 30 miles, clear skies, you can your eyes can actually visually detect. So the distance that you would have to go out to actually test uh, how far you could detect something like this would be incredibly far. So this definitely is the ultimate signaling flashlight. And for all you flat earthers out there, if you want to test to see if there's curvature in the earth, this may be the light to help you do that. All right, so let's get down to business. Now you see that building over there, not quite constructed yet, so we can shine it on it. We know nobody's in there. We're not gonna disturb anybody. Let's shine it on that building. Full bore, it illuminates the whole building. Pretty cool, you can pretty much see everything that's going on over there. You can see if somebody's over there. Now let's step it up a notch. This is an even further thrower. I believe this one's around 1 1.5 kilometers. This is the through night TN40 has a bit more flood, but more intensity. It's 4,500 lumens. Okay, so a lot brighter, a bit more flood. Not bad, right? Not bad. All right, so this is a 20,000 lumen Imolin thrower. Let's see how this does on it. Pretty good, much brighter, and you get a lot more flood on there. We saw these ones at CanadianPreparedness.com. Now, just for you know what and giggles, Let's do the 100,000 lumen flashlight and see how well it does. Okay, <laughs> so all flood basically lights up half the town, right? All right, now let's see what a laser flashlight looks like. You're gonna notice a difference right away. Only 500 lumens, remember, but concentrated. So much, much brighter. Look at, look at that beam. Look how straight that beam is. I can see it on my display. That's crazy. <laughs> that is so cool. So that is the power of a laser light right there. Now there is a red filter on here and I will screw that on and I'll show you the red filter. This is something that you might use, you know, if you were using it for tactical applications. And the good thing with uh, light like this is that because it's not 
a flood at all. It's the furthest thing from a floodlight. You can, to some extent or another, go undetected, especially with that red light. So unless you're actually in the crosshairs of that beam, you may not see the beam. It's very similar to infrared or generation zero night vision in that you really have to be within the beam to see the beam. But this is like a side view of the red light. So you really, you know, you couldn't see this probably from 100 meters out. You'd have a hard time seeing that. And it's actually brighter on camera than it looks in real life. It actually in real life looks like a really faint red. So the cameras in this case, usually the camera doesn't pick it up, but it's picking it up in this case. So now just to show you the difference in beam intensity, once again, I'm going to shine this one over there. And if we can see this bright dot within this floodlight, then we're going to know that this is much brighter. Pretty simple. So let's shine this one. Okay. So we got that one going on. Now this one. So you can see how much brighter that is. It's so much brighter. And this by far only two years ago was one of the farthest throwing flashlights. Now let's compare the similar form factor, 3,500 lumens, 500 lumens. Okay. Let's see how much brighter it is. Look at that. There's no comparison. This is definitely a huge evolution in flashlight technology. You're going to see a lot more stuff like this in the future. Now, right now it's limited to 500 lumens, but imagine future iterations of this that are 1000, 2000, 5,000 lumens. That's going to be crazy. But even as is right now, this is pretty much as much light as you would need. You know, I mean, you can see everything and it's so focused. It's so focused. It's crazy. Let's bust out the uh, 100,000 lumen light, shine it over there, see the difference. Okay. Pretty big difference. You can see that 500 lumens within this sea of 100,000 illumination. <laughs> I just dropped this one in the dust. So all the dust blew out when the fan kicked in. Now, I'm not going to lie. This flashlight is very steep. 250 bucks they want for this thing. Is it worth it for what it can do? Absolutely. Because there's nothing else like it on the market. Do you need it? Of course you don't need it. Just like a lot of things on this channel that I review that are novelty or, you know, just new innovations, you know, it, it's not something that you necessarily need, but it's cool tech. Okay. This is definitely the future of spotlights right here. The only problem with this is that if you were to shine this on somebody that you are rescuing, you may do damage to their corneas. So it might be good for the purpose of identification. Then you would want to switch to a spotlight or something like that. But um, I still think that's pretty amazing technology, uh, especially with the red light filter lens, a bit more versatility. I had to throw in the word versatility because every gear reviewer has to say that word at least once for it to be a certified YouTube gear review. So just to show you how intense the beam is of the Ace Beam W30, I have a mirror set up here and you can see the beam is going into the mirror and almost all of that light, there's a bit that gets through, but almost all of that light gets reflected into a very tight hotspot over there. You could never achieve this type of result with a normal flashlight. Right now that's mounted on the SKS. This is the Thrunite TN40, okay? This is a 2016 flashlight, throws 4,500 lumens, approximately one mile. This was probably one of the best uh, throwers with a little bit of flood in 2016. All right. Now this right here is a revolution in flashlight technology. This is the W30 from Ace B. Okay. This is an actual laser. The FDA classifies this as a laser. It's 1.5 million candle power, yet it's only 500 lumens. Don't get hung up on lumens when it comes to this stuff, because lumens isn't everything. There's beam intensity and then there's lumens. Lumens is the amount of light that's being thrown and the beam intensity is how that light's concentrated. So we're getting 500 lumens here 
throwing up to 2.5 kilometers. That's insane. Look at how tight that beam is. Like, isn't that crazy? Looks like you can light the grass on fire. The beam does not break. There is no flood whatsoever. Like, what is that? I can tell you in five years, I don't know where these flashlights are gonna be. But if they can pack some more lumens into this, this is only 500 lumens with a peak beam intensity of 1.5 million candle power. That's insane. So let me know what you think in the comment section. If you have any experiments you'd like me to try with this thing, let me know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.